In this video, I am going to be talking about songs that I am loving right now. The first two songs are by Donny Mantel, and they are Fly and Be My Baby. Um, Donny Mantel has represented Lithuania twice now at Eurovision Song Contest, and both of his songs are so good. I decided to take a look at his other material, and I came across those two songs. They are from his album, hashtag BLCK. I have no idea what that means. Um, and they are really good songs. Fly is so catchy. I guarantee you will love that song if you listen to it. It's got such a positive message. And it's just one of those nice songs to listen to on a summer's day. And Be My Baby is really catchy as well. The next song is Fix My Heart by Joey Devries. Joey um, support a little mix on their Get Weird tour and I went to it and it was amazing along with Nathan Sykes. Um, and he sang this song on the tour and I totally forgot about it. And I went on, I was on Apple Music for a month and I was just thinking like artists to search in who I'd seen perform live and stuff. And I thought, Joey Devries, search him in, I find Fix My Heart. And I just love that song. It's such a nice song. And it should be in the charts because it's a really good song and you should go check that one out. The next two songs are by Robin St. Germberg. He is also a Eurovision Song Contest competitor back in 2013 with You, which is my all-time favourite Eurovision song. After seeing him perform that and basically falling in love with the song and his voice, I bought his album, which is amazing. Every song on it. Is just fantastic. And then recently I noticed there was two songs that I had not heard before, Locked Into You and Take Me Home. And the moment I heard them, I just thought, these are two of the best songs I have ever heard. I even tweeted him about it yesterday and he tweeted me back saying thank you. I just thought that's so nice of him to do that. But yeah, his voice is just absolutely amazing. I highly recommend that you check out those songs. The next song is Make You Stay by The Girl and the Dreamcatcher. The Girl and the Dreamcatcher are made up of two former Disney stars. They were both in the TV show... Oh, what was it called? I can't think of the name of it. Oh, Liv and Maddie. Um, she played the title role and he was... I don't really watch it, but I know they were both in that. And they are a real couple in real life. Just some facts for you. But all of the songs that they have released so far have been so catchy. I have loved them all and I await an album from them. I don't know what genre you would class them as because those are like their Disney stars. So I don't know if they're like aiming their songs to like the teen market. But I don't care whatever market it's for. The songs are really good. The next two songs are actually songs that were in this year's Your Vision Song Contest. I wasn't a fan of them to begin with, but they have really grown on me, so I've downloaded them along with the other ones. I've downloaded some other ones from this year, but I'm not going to mention them because they're not my favourites right now. Um, and they are Soldiers of Love by Lighthouse X. I'm not sure which country they represented. They didn't get through to the final with this song, which I'm very shocked by because it's a very good song. It's very catchy and they're very good looking guys. Um... And the other song is What's the Pressure by Laura Tessero. She represented Belgium and she did get into the final. Her song is very similar to that of Fleur East's sax and her voice is also very similar to Pixie Lot, who is a UK singer. And it's a very, very catchy song. I don't know why I didn't like it much to start with, but I really like it now. The next song is Tears by Clean Bandit featuring Louisa Johnson. Now, Louisa Johnson won the X Factor, the UK X Factor last year. I really didn't like her winner single. I, she should have released something like this because this song is just, you know, it's just a great song to listen to. And Clean Bandit never can never go wrong with their songs. I mean, they were, they were responsible for Rather Be With Jess Glynn. That was like their breakthrough song. And um, every song they release is just phenomenal. And this song is no exception for them. And Louisa Johnson kills it. And yeah, this should have been her winner's song because it's a pretty amazing song. The next one is two songs by Sean Mendes, Treat You Better and The Weight. Now, Treat You Better, I was late to the party hearing this song. I typed him in on Apple Music 
looking for some new music that I'd never heard before and I saw Treat You Better and I'm like where's this come from I've never seen this song before I've never heard this song before and I see that he has a new song out and I did not know about it I should probably blame myself for not going like on social media and looking at his tweets and stuff like that but I absolutely love Treat You Better it's one of my all-time favorite Sean songs now and I cannot wait for his album the other song is The Weight, which features on his handwritten deluxe album. I hated this song the first time I heard it. I just thought it was boring. I found it really boring. I didn't like it. There was nothing to it for me. And then I listened to it a few more times, and now I love it. It's like one of my all-time favourite songs now. The next song is the song Close by Nick Jonas featuring Tovlo. I absolutely love this song. This is probably my favourite Nick Jonas song that he's ever released and he has done some pretty good songs of recent. I love Nick's solo stuff. Not that I never liked the Jonas Brothers because I love the Jonas Brothers too, but now, you know, he's got his own style of music. He's very different. It's very different from what the Jonas Brothers add out. And, you know, keep doing what you're doing, Nick, because you're not doing anything wrong. The next song is a song called Surrender by Cash Cash. I discovered this song on a TV show that I have been loving recently called Sing It On. It's basically a reality show about high school, no, college, university, glee clubs, and they're competing in competitions and it shows them just going about rehearsal and stuff like that. And basically one of the groups called No Comment sang this in one of the performances for the competition. And I absolutely loved it. The girl who sang it is such a great singer. I think her name was Micah. And she is just fantastic. And I really, really love in that show at the moment. The next song is Good Grief by Bastille. This song is like Bast... Oh, no, what am I saying? This song is like Pompeii Part 2. Like Pompeii is like my all-time favourite Bastille song. It's the first song they release. It's just fantastic. And hearing this, it's like a second... Pompeii song like the follow-up because it's just as amazing as that and I await their album. The next song is You Don't Know Love by Ollie Mers. This song is quite similar to that of The Weeknd's the one that goes in the night when she is lonely. It just reminds me of that like The Weeknd vibe but it's a really really catchy song. It's great for summer and you just want to dance along to it. Ollie never goes wrong with songs he releases. He always releases such good music. That's probably why he's had so many number one hits and he's always having hit songs and hit albums. And everyone just loves Ollie Mers. He's like cheeky and he's always seems happy and cheerful. That's what I love about Ollie Mers. And I'm glad that he's back on the music scene. The next one is an album. It's a Lawson's Lawson's album, Perspective. Now, Lawson haven't released an album in a while now, and they're back, and it's a really impressive album. It features three songs that they have already released called Where My Love Goes, Money, and Roads, and all the other songs on it are great as well. I love every single song on it. I think my favourite song on it right now is Lion's Den. It reminds me of something you would hear in the Eurovision Song Contest, and I'm a big Eurovision fan. And I'm always hearing songs and thinking, I can imagine this in your vision. But yeah, Lawson, you have done well with the new album. So a big thumbs up from me. The next is an artist I'd want to recommend, and they are the Sons of Pictures. I seen them on their tour last month, and it was one of the best shows I have ever been to. So look them up on YouTube, watch their videos. I recommend looking up Wuthering Heights, because... They won a show in the UK called The Naked Quiet and that was one of the songs they performed on there and it is so haunting and the arrangement and just everything about it is just amazing and if you like a cappella, they are a vocal group, then you will like them. They're doing another tour in November so if you like what you see then check them out and also on Friday they are going to be uploading a boy band medley to their YouTube. It's going to feature songs from boy bands past and present. I have seen this on their tour, I don't know if it's going to be the exact same thing that they did and it is fantastic. If you love boy bands you will love it, you will just love it anyway, just check it out anyway. And the last thing I just want to say is I noticed the other day on iTunes that they have recently added the full songs from series 2 of Smash. It's been a while, Smash was all finished like two years ago now and they never had the songs available to download and they have since released them on iTunes for like a bargain price of £13. There's over like 50 songs on there 
and I just wanted to state some of my favourite songs from Smash that you should check out. This is Smash Series 2 and they are Broadway Here I Come, Caught in the Storm, Heart Shaped Wreckage, Rewrite This Story, I Heard Your Voice in a Dream, Reach For Me and The Goodbye Song. I hope you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up if you liked it and leave a comment if there's any songs you would like to recommend or if you have checked any of these songs out and you know give me your opinion of the songs that I have mentioned. Thanks for watching.